Hello everyone, hope you're okay. Um, this is the second part of Zachariah's song from Luke chapter 1, verse 76 through to verse 80. Zachariah is so pleased that John the Baptist has been born and that he can now speak, that he sings and he prophesies about his son in this way. Verse 76. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, and you will, will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the desert until he appeared publicly to Israel. What a wonderful uh, passage of scripture that is. Uh, it speaks to us so strongly about um, Zachariah and what God has shown him about his son John the Baptist. In verse 76, he prophesies about his son that he will prepare the way for the Most High. He will prepare the way for the Lord. And we know that that's what John the Baptist went on to do. Now, people thought that John the Baptist was the Messiah but we know and those people knew that John was there to prepare the way for the Lord. And in verse uh, 78, it particularly spoke to me when um, uh, Zachariah is prophesying about the tender mercy of our God. And then verse 79, uh, the, the, the tender mercy of our God is going to shine on those that are living in darkness. For many people, uh, they're living with fear, worry and anxiety. And the next line really speaks into our world and our circumstances. Those living in darkness and in the shadow of death. I, I want to tell you today um, that God has really laid on my heart that many, many people today, even people that are Christians um, that you know, uh, and it might be you yourself, that you believe that you're living under the shadow of death, that the coronavirus is all around and can kill us and take us out at any moment. I want you to put your trust, your faith, your belief and your confidence in a sovereign God that knows every single step you will take, every single breath you will take and every single thought you will take. And I want to just encourage you this morning, wherever you are and wherever you're watching this, that we're not living and in the shadow of death. We're living for God and we're living in the confidence that the light of Jesus shines into our life, both now and in the life to come. Thank you um, so much for, for watching this. Thank you so much for listening. Um, God bless you. I press forward and press into God today. Uh, he knows, he understands, he loves and he cares each and every one of you. God bless you and I'll speak to you soon.